Color correction can be tough, especially when it comes to skin tones. The last thing you want to do is film an actor and have their skin come out like this or like this. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Premiere's native Lumetri color to change the skin tones to give them a more natural and flattering look. Let's get started. There are many contributing factors to skin tone not looking quite right straight out of the camera. If the lights are too bright, the town's face will quickly get washed out, making them look more like a ghost than a human. If you use colored lights on set, they might even end up spilling onto the town's face, making them look purple or green. It could even be as simple as wanting to up the saturation for a shot, but finding that this turns the actor's face into a sickly yellow hue. There are quite a few ways to correct this, but today we're going to be showing you one of the more versatile methods, HSL Secondary, inside of Lumetri Color. When opening up Premiere, you may not immediately see the Lumetri Color tab. The easiest way to get access to it will be to go to Premiere's Color Editing Workspace and find it in the right side of the screen. But you can also select the Window drop-down menu, click on Lumetri Color and Lumetri Scopes, and add them to whatever workspace you prefer to work in. The Lumetri Scopes panel is an extremely powerful tool for color correction in Premiere, and it has a huge amount of functionality built in. But for today, we'll be focusing on one tool it has, Vectorscope YUV. The Vectorscope YUV basically takes every pixel from your image and maps it to a space in this circle based on its color and saturation. The reason this is so helpful to us is because of this little white line right here. This is actually a representation of what a natural looking skin tone may appear as. It's important to note that while we're using a light skin talent for this demonstration, the tone of red that makes human skin look natural isn't unique to light skinned people. People with a darker complexion look more natural using the same tone as well. It literally represents the color of blood flowing through the skin underneath. Now that we have the Lumetri scope set up, let's move over to the Lumetri color panel. Once again, there are a ton of tools, but today we'll be focusing on HSL Secondary. This tool allows us to isolate a specific color range using the hue, saturation, and luminance sliders, and then apply adjustments to just that color range, rather than the whole image. To start, let's use the color picker tool to get a general color range we'll be looking at. You can see, once we check the color gray box, It'll show us exactly what parts of the image are selected. The next step is a lot of experimenting and messing around until you get the perfect selection. But what I like to do is expand the S and L sliders all the way and go from the top down, adjusting each slider until only the skin tones are selected. Once you have the colors selected, you can use the refinement tools as necessary. I often add a bit of blur to the selection to make the color changes appear more natural rather than blocky. Now is where the vector scope comes in. Using the color picker wheel, the temperature controls, and the saturation controls, you can slowly adjust the skin tone until it matches along the line fairly closely. The line is there for a reference, of course, so use your best judgment, and I would recommend turning off the color slash gray check mark for the last few adjustments. Personally, I find that moving the color picker wheel a bit towards the oranges, warming up the temperature, and then decreasing the saturation gives a very natural and aesthetically pleasing skin tone for the talent. But each shot will be unique. Once you're done, it's good to turn the effect on and off a few times to check to see if you might have overcorrected and made the talent look a bit like an orange. It's important to note that the HSL slider affects the image after the basic corrections section on the Lumetri color. So either do the basic corrections first or add a second Lumetri color effect to the image after this one. You can easily label the effects so that you don't get them mixed up. And there you have it. This is one of the simplest and easiest ways to change the skin tone from right within Premiere. But that's not all it's useful for. You can use this same methodology to change the color or tone of anything within your image. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below and make sure to click that notification bell if you liked this video. Thanks for watching and as always, keep creating.